the opportunity to gain life skills in order to become successful contributing citizens in society. So heading out to Molly Lang, who's also at the fair, and she joins us live with some of the 4-H competitors. Hey, Molly. Hey Renee, we're out here in the 4-H swine bar. You might be able to tell that by the look of it, but not by the smell. We can definitely smell that though. I'm standing by with two of our 4-H ladies here. Madison. Hi. And Ashley. Hello. All right, so you guys com competed this year for 4-H, right? Yes. So what type of animal do you have? We both have swine. Swine, how yes. long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for three years. What do you love about it most? I really love being able to just care for an animal and be able to bring it up from a young age to all the way till we sell it. Okay, and Ashley, how did you get into this? Um, my dad did 4-H while he was young, so he kind of pressured me into it, but I love it now that I do it. And tell me, you won, right? I got a um, first purple, which is like the first in my class in showmanship, and my second purple in market. So I'll be going to final drive at 7 today. All right. Well, come on out. Check out the 4-H. There's a lot to see. Lots of blue ribbons, too. We're going to send it back your way, Renee, live at the Yuma County Fair. Molly Lang, News 11. Thank you, Molly. Welcome back. So I had the opportunity to go to the fair yesterday and I have to say I had an amazing time and I'm sure Alex is too and he's joining us from the 64th annual Yuma County Fair and he's definitely soaking up all the fun there and uh, there, there's, there couldn't be any more to say about all the fun and activities that are out there, especially the games, the food and, and everything. And as you can see, he almost got attacked by a very friendly mascot that's out there as well. So we'll be happy to get that to you in just just a moment as they are setting that shot up for you. Meantime, Molly Lang is also out there, but there's, oh, see, they're out there dressed up and ready to go. How are you guys doing out there? Well, thanks so much, Renee. We're back here at the 64th annual, annual Yuma Fair. Obviously, Molly Lang and I have uh, been transported to a different dimension. At, uh, sport, no, I don't know. We look great this afternoon. <laughs> it's all brought to us by our friends here at Old Big Time Photos. And we'd like to bring in the uh, one of the uh, owners and managers here who's going to tell us uh, a little more about what they do for the, uh, the Yuma Fair. You can come right over here. Just, uh, tell oh, us yeah. about what you guys do here. We're a family-owned business. We've been around. This is our 36th year at the fair this year. Uh, we're third generation. Um, been around for a long time. Oh, we do great old-time photos. We do western, obviously, like you see here. <laughs> we do gangster. We do roaring twenties. We do pirates. We do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. and we're a really great family experience. Great for the kids. Get everybody in here. We yeah. give you guys a real nice shot. Well, thank you so much. And obviously, you can enjoy this or a lot more at the Yuma County Fair. We'll see you again at six o'clock. Back to Renee. Thank you. <laughs> Well, again, the Yuma County Fair is bringing in all the fun, and this is the main attraction if you have nothing to do this week into the weekend. And joining us live also out there is News 11's Molly Lang, who is having a good time and looks like she's about to play a game. Hey, Molly. Hey, Renee, we're out here at the fair, as you know, and we're getting a taste of what the fair is all about, and that means games and winning prizes, as well as fried food and rides and all of that. And I'm standing here with, as you know, Alex Cheney, and we're gonna see who can hit the most balloons and who can win one of these big prizes up there. All right. Are you ready? You're using a dart. I'm using a dart. Let's go for it. You want a dart, too. It's fine. One, two, three. Oh! All right, Alex, what's your technique? Uh, you got fall it's all on the wrist. All right, go. Oh! Look, they're giving me this. Apparently, they don't tr trust me with the dart. They're giving the dart to Alex, but who knew? I'm kind of like at the kitty level, I guess. Woo! All right. All right, so there's a lot going on, and the fair is going on until Sunday. So definitely come out, win yourself a prize, and bring a friend. All right, Renee, we're going to send it back to you live from the Yuma County Fair, Molly Lang, News 11. And again, thank you so much for that, Molly. Now, yesterday I was able to do the ring toss, and a lot of those games, you got to flick that wrist out there. So before you go out there, we're giving you some heads up right now. Some of those games, I think, are rigged, but just be aware that they are a lot of fun. 
Well, thanks so much, Renee. Yeah, I'm here at the 64th annual, annual, excuse me, Yuma Fair, where there's so, all sorts of games and activities for uh, all likes of ages. We got cotton candy over here, lots of popcorn, so many things, a Ferris wheel. We have a pirate ship over here. I'm just, I'm loosened my mind, excited with so many possibilities for lots of fun for the entire family. They'll be here through, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. We're going to be here through Sunday. Admission is only $5. Bring the 